Okay folks, we made it to the Glade Creek Trailhead and we're getting ready to head out on the trail. Uh, I won't uh, bother you with the uh, nuts and bolts of this trip. I have two previous videos where I was out here before. So feel free to check those out. And without further ado, let's get after it. Okay, here's a shot at Glade Creek Falls. Uh, greatly diminished since the last time I was here but beautiful nonetheless. Okay, I just found us a nice little spot to stop and eat lunch. I took a little tumble back there a few minutes ago, just uh, tripped over a rock and fell down. And um, I thought, well, that's a, uh, that's a sure sign that maybe I need to stop and take a break and have a bite to eat, so let's do that. Okay, folks, on the menu today is the same old, same old. Chunk light tuna, tortilla, and I've got another package of these nuts that I showed you on the uh, cranberry overnight trip. Well, my phone seems to be okay, and the camera seems to be okay. Provided you can see and hear me good. There's a little bit of color out there right now. It's certainly uh, hasn't made it to peak yet, but it is beautiful nonetheless. The water in Glade Creek is greatly diminished from the springtime, but there's still plenty of water out here. I just needed to get away. Needed a quick little overnight trip. Get some fresh air. You know, we're knocking on winter's door now. The days are getting shorter and shorter. And it's supposed to cool off quite a bit this weekend. That's one of the reasons that I wanted to come out. Hurt your eyeballs, gorgeous out here. Can you see the leaves falling? Well, my, really my only water crossing on the trip has dried up for the winter. Look at that. Check out my last video 
and uh, see how much water was in it then. Okay, here's the intersection for Kate's Falls. Shall we go up and check it out? Okay, folks, it's just as I suspected. Kate's Falls has flown south for the winter. All we have there is just a faint trickle. Look at what a great little campsite right here, right along this little stream. Well, this is actually Glade Creek, but it's little more than a stream now. But look, we've got a nice little fire ring and seating area over here. And the trail is back up there. And I thought I'd string the hammock up right between these two trees here. And I have just enough room. And the hammock will be facing toward the creek. That way I can wake up and look at that water. And I'll be able to listen to this water run all night long. Sounds like a recipe for a good night's sleep to me. Okay folks, and here we are, home sweet home for the night right in front of the creek and there's our dining area where we'll be preparing the evening feast Okay, got the pot of water on the bowl here. And on the menu this evening is Dottie's Chicken and Dumplings by Packet Gourmet. And I look forward to enjoying that in the near future. But for some strange bit of luck or whatever, I have cell service out here. And I have a Wi-Fi connection. Go figure, huh? But anyway, um, it looked like this morning that someone tried to log into my retirement account that was not me. So I had to call and address that and get that thing locked down and prevent any withdrawals from being made. But I tell you what, a guy can't even have a little bit of time to go to the wilderness without this type of crap happening. Okay, I hope you can see me okay. I had to uh, make a mad dash for the tarp. Um, started raining on me, came, started coming down pretty hard. I got the water poured in it. I hope that it's properly hydrated because the pouring down rain came about the time that I was trying to get the water poured in here. We'll give it a quick stir. Yeah, it seems to be rehydrated. There you go. Now you can have a look at it. Oh yeah, that's real good. Everything's good and rehydrated. It's got a good flavor to it. You can uh, there are actual chunks of chicken in here, and it's quite flavorful. I've already retired to my hammock, and uh, I'm just going to sit here and probably find something to read and listen to the rainfall on the tarp 
I reckon we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. I've got all my morning chores done. And I'm getting ready to enjoy my breakfast and a cup of coffee because it's almost coffee time. And speaking of coffee, I'm going to have one of these Folgers Instant Tea Bag Coffee Dealy Bobs. And on the menu is two packets of uh, maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal made by Quaker. Not really on purpose, it's just all in what they got on sale as to what we buy, if you know what I mean. And I think I'm going to have one of these Carnation Breakfast Essentials to go with that too. There we go, the water's coming along nicely. And we'll go ahead and get everything set up. That way whenever the water is ready, we're ready. Just a wee bit chilly this morning. That um, The weather pretty much did as was forecasted. Um, we were supposed to have some rain showers overnight and we had those and the temperature was supposed to drop out last night and it did. I'm glad I brought my 20 degree bag um, just to have a little bit of extra insurance. My lighter weight bag is rated for 35 degrees and it probably would have done the job but in the shoulder seasons uh, a 20 degree bag or quilt is a safe bet. And just sent my wife a text message to let her know that I did not survive the night and that, um, you know, something came along and ate me. Oh, yeah, there's that magic sound. Them bubbles are rolling in there and that steam rising out of the top of the lid. That means it's time. Okay, and we'll let that steep for just a few minutes. Okay, there's a text message from my wife wanting to know if I'm already heading back to Old Blue by now. And no, no, I've still got to have my coffee and my oatmeal. Let's check in on our coffee. And now, it's coffee time. Oh, oh yeah. I think this morning routine that I've started these past couple of trips is really worked out for me. It's really the way to go. Um, getting up early and um, getting my hammock put away and my sleeping bag and pillow and all that is all stowed away in the pack already ready to go. And um, that way I've got all this room underneath the tarp to have my breakfast. It's not raining right now but it has been and it could start raining again at any time. So I'm grateful to have this tarp over top of me. That way I don't have to worry about it.
and let's have a look at our oatmeal. Oh yeah. Normally I don't eat a lot of this maple and brown sugar um, oatmeal. Uh, generally speaking it's too sweet for me but I've had it such a long time I hate to waste anything. So here goes. It's still plenty sweet, but it's not too bad. It's not super overpowering. Maybe that's the key to it. Maybe let these packets of oatmeal set for a couple years, and may and it um, kind of settles down the sweetness of it a little bit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and turn you off because you all have seen me eat and drink coffee before. But I'm just going to have a little quiet time and sit and listen to the water run in this creek and enjoy my breakfast. We'll say goodbye to this campsite for now. But it'll live on forever in the video. And we've got camp all broken down. Everything put away in, in the pack. We'll take one last quick walk around to be sure we didn't forget anything and I want you to look at what a welcome surprise this is one of the few campsites that I've stayed at where there has been no trash in the fire ring whatsoever and for that I'm grateful well let's get this pack up on our back and let's get out there and get back to Old Blue and back to the old homestead Look at the falling leaves. Positively gorgeous. I tell you what, the old trail looks almost magical this morning. You just can barely see that one part of Glade Creek Falls, or what's left of it. But it is gorgeous nonetheless. Okay folks, the uh, Glade Creek uh, Overnighter is in the books. And uh, we're fixing to uh, get us a bite to eat, a hot cup of coffee, and then we're heading back to the homestead. But Thanks for watching, we'll see you the next time.